I do this? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh, grew up in town here. I moved here in first grade. So, as most people would say, I'm officially a townie. I am a Christian going guy. I um, go to church most every Sunday. Not quite, but most. And um, there is a young gentleman, Rick Moff. He works over at the Sadler building. And he said, oh, you're looking for work? You should work at the college doing food service. And I was like, well, I've done food service in the past, but never at a college. And I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I ended up applying and here I am. <laughs> Did you know that you're one of the William & Mary student body's favorite wholesome memes? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> of course I hear about that stuff. Um, my management team hear about it and then they're just like oh my gosh and did you hear about such and such a thing i hear about it before i even come into work it was about 7 p.m one of the days where one of the bigger memes came out and he was like christian and he was so excited i mean so excited and i was just like okay what's going on and he was like did you hear about the meme <laughs> it's got so many hits blah 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 and i was like what are you talking about? And I, I, was, I was trying not to, ha to have a smile, and that's hard for me to do, especially when I'm up at Marketplace, because it's kind of my place now. I, I was grinning ear to ear regardless, but I was trying to hold back. And after he left, I, I barely made it before I just started cracking up, because I was just like, and there was a lime building at that point, and I was just like, I found out like literally before I came into work that day. I've had not an easy time growing up. Um, I was in a bad accident, and so that's why if you see me not using my right side, that would be the reason. I actually was hit by a car at the age of two. And I was in a coma for three days and was at two different hospitals. And the doctor said that I would maybe will live, but probably won't. That was very, very much a scary thing. And I was told I wasn't going to be able to walk or to go to school, which I have graduated high school, but did a little bit of college, but I didn't ever finish anything. I, I feel like it's easier to stay happy than it is to get happy again after feeling down. So I try to stay happy for what I can. And I think working at the college, I kind of feed off of you guys as, well, as much as you guys feed off of me. Um, and so it's just, it's a fun time for me. At, at the college or just in general? In general. Ooh, oh man. <laughs> I really enjoyed it this past Halloween. Um, I came as Charlie Brown and that was really, really fun. And it was kind of scary how closely related I was to Charlie Brown. What I've, what I've, uh, called out to some students, uh, when when it's a when it's a hard day when it's rainy out and nobody wants to be outside side and whatever I'm just like well all you need to do is see a sad white boy dance in the rain <laughs> and frankly enough anytime I dance that's the sad white boy dance can you tell us how you met your wife I I feel like things happen for a reason I actually worked at a place called Yankee Candle and it was definitely a pickup job. It was just, I needed a job at the time. We had to sit in the break room and this woman walks by and she literally pops her head in for a second. And I'm like, and from there I was just like, okay, it's on. That's it? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> now are you sure? Wait, <laughs> is that better? Perfect. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs>